art is fun too because we get to do French and art at the same time, which are like both my favorite subjects. I like doing art and French together because Mr. Coleman and Miss Clatch make it really fun to do. It makes funny gestures. It's like adore. Les peintres, les peintres, impressionnistes adorent. Oh, j'adore, mm, oui. And he's like, no, bien. He jumps and it's hysterical. It's really, really fun. I think you remember it more because you haven't done it once before, so. And all of that. You remember the yeah. stuff that's in the And it's wacky, so it makes you remember it. Mal, comme ci, comme ça. Yeah, et toi? Yeah, et toi? Yeah, tu es sûr? Oui. Et toi? Like, he'll come to separate tables and, like, he teaches French while we're like, doing a project. It's like, he tells like, the names of the colors and what the name of this is. And he talks to you in French to try and get you to like remember it more. Dis-moi, quelle couleur est ça? C'est le bleu. Et ça aussi, c'est le bleu ou c'est le rouge? It starts from sort of the cultural diversity within the community, and we've even moved in even in terms of, sort of coursework. I know we've started moving in that more global direction, how we've replaced AP European history with AP global to try to get a more worldly perspective. I think that's what we're trying to do is, like someone mentioned before, try to mimic a real world situation where through the internet and technology now there's a lot more interaction everywhere in politics and business. And now, like, I know in social studies research we're planning to use webcams to try to communicate the kids going to school in Afghanistan and Iraq. The and, soldiers in Iraq. Yeah, and it's a really sort of a global experience rather than just thinking of it in the old scope of American history and American government and trying to get ready for this broad life that we're going to have. Ahead right of now, us. we're we're trying to in science and social studies research. We're going to um, we're looking at organizations where so we're taking a more global approach, but I think this gives us a chance to ignite change and also impact people that all around the world because we're now exploring we were exploring like care um, and how they would um, promote change in women and and poverty and so I think that in a way our classrooms and like all our teachers and the fact that the curriculum like makes it so that we're more globally based we're talking about like different cultures or things like that and like it was really funny because like somebody would talk about something with Judaism and then like somehow like it was really it was really like odd our conversation but then like the Chinese culture came up and like people were explaining to other people like about their different cultures that I was like oh my god I know about that or like I knew a little bit about this and like I felt like I was already informed about what was out there and I feel like if we didn't go to like a school like Herrick's where we have like people from almost all over the world like I wouldn't have like had that knowledge.